For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Bandicam. Now out of screen recorders so far, I've covered how to use Fraps, how to use Camtasia, and now I'm onto Bandicam. So if there's any other screen recorders you want me to do, then let me know in the comments below. So this is Bandicam right here, and let's get into it. I'm unregistered as you can see, because of course you have to pay for it. This is just the trial version. Now first of all, just describe to you what is on the layout. So here is obviously the time, so there's the hours, the minute, and the second. Here is how long you've got left to record, and as you record, you'll see this going up right here. So it tells you how many gigabytes or how many megabytes you're using as you're recording. Up here is just a key to register Bandicam, here is a help button if you need any help. Now onto the main interface right here, as you can see there's something called Game Recording Mode. It records games and video players using DirectX. So obviously if you're recording games, you're going to be clicked on this one right here. However, if you're recording your desktop, you come to this one on the right, which is called Screen Recording Mode. It records desktop screen and web video. Moving over is the Output Folder. Now, if you click this, it's going to take you to the Output Folder where your recordings will go. And of course, you can change it. I've just kept it default. Now here, as you are recording, you can take a screenshot. Here, you just press record. You can see it's currently grey because I have no game open and I am on the game recording mode. And here, if you're in the middle of recording, you can pause your recording. Now, get into this part right here, the output folder. So there you go, straight away on general, the options. We can change where the recordings go. So if you press this right here, you can choose wherever you want to save it. So I'm going to put it on desktop. I'm going to click OK. And you can see it's that easy. It's switched to my desktop. And if we go below that, as you can see, Bandicam window always on top. Now, if you're recording, that means Bandicam will show. So make sure that's unchecked. And as you can see, start Bandicam minimized to a tray. And again, that's up to you. And here, run Bandicam on Windows Starter. Personally, I don't have that on because I don't record straight away as soon as I start my computer. Then here, there is an advanced option. So you can see we can just mess around with these settings. And output, hooking, language, and other. Then below that you can see auto start recording. So you can see start full screen recording on Bandicam startup. So that means as soon as Bandicam starts up, it's going to start recording. That is if you have that checked. Set timer for auto start recording. So if you check this, you can have a certain time limit before Bandicam starts recording. On to the next one, which is FPS. Now you only get FPS in game recording mode. If we go to screen recording mode, you can see FPS goes. So here you can mess with the FPS. It's kind of like Fraps here because you can choose where you want it to be displayed just simply by clicking. And you can even pick if you want it to be displayed. So you don't have to have it on. You can set up a hotkey as well. And you can see you can even set up an FPS limit. So mine's capped at 60 frames per second and it's checked to only when capturing. Now next is video. So here you can set up some hotkeys once again. So you can record and stop. Now it's F10. I believe I set that up myself because I always used Camtasia for over a year and of course I had to switch to Bandicam. So I set up F10. The reason F10? Because Camtasia uses F10 the exact same settings. As you can see for a pause hotkey, I never actually pause my videos. So that's why I don't have a hotkey set up. Show mouse cursor. Obviously you'll need that checked if you want the mouse cursor to show. If it's unchecked, it won't be on the screen. Now in addition to this, you can add a mouse click effect, meaning when you click, you can have like a color come out of it or the sound itself. Now here you can also add a webcam overlay so you can record the screen and your webcam at the same time. And again, you can come to settings and you can mess with this right here. So you can see the sound, you can see what to record the sound with. You can have your primary sound device, so where the volume comes out of. And you can see you can also have a secondary device. It's completely up to you though. Now they also have save audio tracks while recording and it saves as a .wav which is a pretty good file as well, it's small so you can also have that checked if you want to. Then moving on to the webcam you can just mess around with the webcam settings. Here you can actually add a logo to your videos so without you having to edit it yourself and put it on you can do it in Bandicam itself. Now onto effects you can see the mouse effects so if this is checked you can add a mouse click effect so if I left click it will come out red, if I right click it will come out blue and here you can also add a highlight effect to the mouse, meaning there'll be like a highlight of color around it. So you can change your color to whatever you want, just click on them and you can see right there. And the final thing is options and as you can see, recording priority. So you can just go ahead and mess with that. 
This one is probably the most recommended one. So you can keep it on that. And then here you can just mess with these settings here. Now onto the video format itself. Now you need to be careful with this because when I first got Bandicam, I was clueless to this. I recorded straight away without changing any video settings and I couldn't import the video into Sony Vegas directly, I had to convert it. But there's a solution around it, all you need to do is come to presets, then as you can see it says Sony Vegas, Premiere or Pinnacle. Click that and these are the settings you'll need if you're editing in Sony Vegas or that other programs I just mentioned. And as you can see there's also other presets right there. So you can see YouTube 720, that's if you're going to upload directly to YouTube, so it's up to you, but of course there's probably going to be editing involved. So pick that one if you're using my one, so like that. So then of course here we have settings, and as you can see you can have a file type as AVI or an MP4. You can choose the video size at full screen or any of these right here. You can choose your frames per second. You can choose the codec. You can choose the quality. Then of course you can mess with the audio right here. Personally I'd leave all this stuff the same because it comes out good either way. Now onto image. Now as you can see it says capture, hotkey again, this is how you take a screenshot. So if I press F11 while recording it will take a screenshot. Now as you can see it says repeat a screen capture which means it will double up. So just press F11 and it will take two photos. Here you can choose a show mouse cursor. So when you're taking a screenshot do you want the mouse cursor to show or not. If you want it to show, make sure it's checked. And you can see, you can even enable a shutter sound. So when you press F11 or take a screenshot, it will make a shutter sound. And below here you have the format. So you can have a BMP, PNG, JPEG normal, or JPEG high quality. Moving on to the output, and as you can see, it's just showing you the video, the images, and it tells you where the videos will actually go. Now I've got no recordings, that's why it's not anything here. But if I had recordings, it will be right here and it even tells you right there where the output folder is. So it's on my desktop and if you left click it, it takes you to my desktop. And then of course we've got about which you don't really need to worry about. But if you ever want to purchase it, simply press register from here. Now I know I just showed you everything in game recording mode. However, if you notice, if we come to screen recording mode, the settings I've just told you are exactly the same. The only difference is you don't have FPS. So you can follow the steps I've just showed you for screen recording mode as well. Now there's one little setting just left and it's this button right here. What this is going to do is remove all of this bar below. So if we press this, see it's now going to be a little box. So if I go to this, you can see it's now going to come up. Now very important thing, when you're on screen recording mode you're going to get this up here. If you press this down arrow and when you're recording make sure you come here and press hide. And you can see it's going to come to your tray, just X off that. And then you can drag this to your other monitor or simply record, then minimize it. And then you're going to be recording your screen. If you didn't do what I just done, then you're going to get that little bar at the top. You're going to get this at the top of your video the entire time and it will just be a bit annoying. But with this little bar here, it actually offers you quite a lot. If you press this restore button right here, you can mess with the resolution it captures, so you can pick a certain part, so you can pick like there for example, and then you can simply press record, you can take a screenshot, and you can come back here and show, hide, and then of course you got these settings right here, so size just means how much you want to record, the opacity which means the bar of the opacity, and then adjust, so this just move left, and you can see it just moves it left a little bit, so it's kind of a waste that is, but here you've also got open output folder. And again, this is on my desktop. Anyway, that is it. I've kept it as simple as I can. Hopefully you've been able to follow and hopefully I made it easy for you. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like me to do this with another screen recorder, then be sure to let me know the screen recorder in the comments below. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel where I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat which is sure to do throughout my day. So let's be casual savage here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.